very first boat took me 45 minutes to assemble. Since then, I have been able to reduce the assembly time down to about 2 minutes. I have been considering 5 or less minutes for assembly is good enough. Now, this modular boat took me only 30 seconds. I'm surprised this would make such a big difference in the user experience by shortening the assembly time. The first assembly step is to insert the stern module onto the front module. And then I insert the PVC pipes onto the gunnel. And then I'm done with the assembly. I don't even have to lock the PVC pipes in place because the slight bending at the middle of the kayak prevented the pipes to come loose. It's easy to carry the assembled boat. It actually is even easier if I carry two pieces and bring it to the jetty and do the assembly or disassembly. There's always an uneasy feeling when I first sit on a new boat. This boat is 27 inches wide and I'm also sitting a bit higher. I expected the stability will not be that great when compared with my other boats, which are usually 29 inches or more in width. To my surprise, the boat is very stable. When compared with my other foldable boats, this boat is very okay. rigid and it is very easy to get in and out of the boat. This kayak turns fast. It turns on a dime. Maybe the rocker at the bow helps with the turn. The bottom of this boat is flat and I haven't done anything to enhance its tracking capability. In my opinion, the tracking for this 9.5 feet boat is okay. I built a few boats under 10 feet long. This by far is the fastest one. It is always fun to pedal a faster boat. I experimented the double hull design with this foam boat last year and I applied the learning to build this modular kayak. Water is allowed it to leak into the inner hull of the boat. If I build this boat again, I will use different materials to reduce the gap to one inch wide. The double hull modular design create a very reliable boat because the sharp folded corners don't have extra stress due to folding and unfolding. Very similar to my other foldable boats, you will have to drain the water trapped inside after each use. But this doesn't present me a problem because I will let the boat to drain itself on the patio overnight. I would say this is a successful experiment and there are also many areas for improvement. I will make a video to highlight how I built this boat and what improvements can be made. I don't plan on building the mid section to extend the length of the boat to 13 or 14 feet. Instead, I will use the learning to build a 13 and a half or 14 feet long seat inside kayak modeled after this 0.65 Mercury GTX Solo. 
I plan to have the bow section be stored inside the middle section of the bolt, just like this 0.65 bolt. And this will be my winter project. Another thing I like about this bolt is I can sit high, just like a canoe, and I like the sitting posture. Thanks for watching and also following my journey in building this boat. Now on to my next design. If you like my videos, please give me a thumbs up and also appreciate if you support me by subscribing to my channel. See you again. Bye bye.